I should say, first of all, this has played out over many months all around the world, but we still don't know exactly what's in this deal. People are talking about it, but we don't know the contents entirely. That's exactly right. This has been done, as you would expect, uh, quietly and within the four walls of the conference rooms, of the negotiating rooms. So we don't know exactly what's in it. We have some idea because a lot of it has been discussed in general terms. So bearing that in mind, and I don't mean to characterize these as winners and losers, perhaps gainers and losers, let's start with those who stand to win or gain from this particular deal. Internationally, who, who stands best to gain? Well, I think the United States gains a lot because we've been asking for other countries to have higher environmental standards, higher workplace standards, higher standards for intellectual property protection. We want state enterprises to be able to uh, assume the same responsibilities for fair competition as private sector companies so that we have a level playing field between our private companies and state enterprise uh, companies around the world. So those are the gainers in agriculture. We're getting some good opportunities that we haven't had before. So I think the United States does quite well. We obviously have to give to get and you have to make concessions, as every country has done. But I think it's good for the United States uh, in, in a broad sense. But then again, we don't know the details, so it's hard to make a final judgment. But on the basis of what I've seen, it looks like we're doing quite well. So those who have sounded the clarion against this, who have said it's going to be harmful, are pharmaceutical companies, agriculture interests as well. We had President Obama going to the Ag Department today to talk to farming interests there. Uh, bearing in mind what we know and what we don't know, do they have a case there? Uh, do they stand to lose with this deal? Well, certain groups didn't get as much as they want. And that's the nature of a negotiation. The pharmaceutical industry wanted more on certain types of very high quality drugs. Um, they didn't get as much patent protection or as long as they wanted, uh, things of that nature. Farm Farmers perhaps wanted to get more in certain markets. The auto industry didn't uh, get as much as it wanted, didn't want to give up quite as much as it did. but. By and large, uh, you have to really look at this from where we started out to where we are now. And even though it's not perfect, even though certain groups didn't get what they wanted, it, it seems to be positive. And we should reserve our judgment. It puzzles me that there are groups of people who criticize this and say, we don't have enough information. It's not transparent. At the same time, they denounce the agreement and say it's unacceptable. Well, it's hard to have it both ways. And I think that. I concede that I don't have all the details, but from what I hear, it sounds like we've gotten a considerable amount. Mike Froman, who's been negotiating, is a very able negotiator, and I have a lot of confidence in him.